In previous versions, any and all drainage and utility properties had to be retrieved from the database. Now, properties that are commonly used for annotation will be stored on the graphical elements. With the elimination of the need to retrieve these properties from the database, users will see increased performance, stability, and ease of use. Let's take a look at how this enhancement works. I've opened a design file that contains some drainage and zoomed in on one particular area of interest here. If I select, for example, a conduit, and I look at its properties, if we scroll down through the categories that are shown, we can see that we've added some more information to the properties. Now, not all of these fields are populated at the moment, but you can see that we've got shape, uh, material, operational status, and so on. We've also added a new category for drainage results, and we're populating values such as the capacity, the flow, the normal depth, and the velocity. Now, to get these values uh, updated, I need to compute the scenario, so I'll do that. Okay, the... Uh, the compute's completed, so if I close that panel, you can see that the properties pane has automatically updated. So we're now seeing all of these fields are uh, filled in, including the drainage results here. So we're seeing the values which are being read from the database and now being persisted on the graphics. So if I select another element here, such as uh, this catch basin, for example, you can see that we've added properties, for example, here, the baseline station and offset, um, the shape of the inlet, uh, its uh, length and width, great parameters, things like that. Scroll down a little bit further and you've got some hydraulic properties as well. Similarly, for a gutter, we're seeing the start and stop spread widths and depths. And for a catchment area, we're seeing the runoff method, intensity, flow, and so on. So I've swapped and I'm now in a new design file and I've referenced the drainage in. So the active file is empty. All it contains is a reference. And if I select one of these drainage elements, you can see that because we've persisted these properties onto the graphics, they're still available. And I can use tools like the Civil Labeler to do annotation. So if we look at the text favorite that's being used here, I'll just copy that into the active file to make it easier to read. We can mm -hmm. see that these properties are being read, the values of these properties are being read from the information that's stored on the graphics, not the database. And this is important because it means that we don't need to extract databases anymore, particularly from reference files, which gives us a big gain in performance and stability.